of hours of getting the fire going. <laughs> yeah, obviously there's two locomotives. Um, you might as well break in the two groups, you know, however, however you guys want to go. Um, Chuck will be on 13 and I'll be on number six here. And you can, you know, pretty much break into two groups and go where you want to go. And when you're there, kind of stick with it. <laughs> see who gets fired up first. Oh, we're yeah, fired. Yeah. Chuck's at the four rooms and six. So yeah, go with that's why I like that. Yeah. But the cab's bigger. I like the cab. Um, so, but, so we'll see. But, Yep, that's, that's pretty easy. Uh, yeah. well, what we want to do. Very little. Okay, that's just wood fire. Yeah, so don't shake the brakes. Uh, we don't come up here. Do our one side of the yeah. Shovel it out. Um, you can do either way. The fire will go down through the will. Yeah. Yeah, it tends to bite off chunks. So. But if you keep working it, it will oh, dump yeah. the fire. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, are these the right size pieces? Yeah, that's good. You can sit them up here or you can put them in. You know, yeah. you know cover that dog's first of all. Oh, all right. They're using a hole. All we have to do is put this on the heat. Now, if we don't clean the ash pan, what 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 happens? The ash pan. You don't filled. get oxygen. You don't, you don't get a draft. You don't get good air, and you can actually you can actually burn out the grates because the grates will overheat just being cast okay. iron. They want that cool air, you know, coming up. So we were talking about blowing up the boiler yesterday, and you said to dump the fire. Yep. It pumps cold water out of the tank into the ash pan. Okay. Uh, okay. Which is pretty neat. That's it's pretty irregular. I picked that up, picked that up from some other place, but it's, that's not the norm. Um, now this here is, you know, this is this is your ash pan door. You can okay. You can look look up and I can actually see it better through the, the video. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. See the door yeah. there. All right. Um, to get a little bit extra room. Try to get the door up as far as you can. Okay, and now you're just going to rake that out. Yep. And it's, it's, it's pretty full. Okay. Normally I'm on the other side. This feels See the water move, yeah. yeah, and and then close it, and it should come back to the same spot. And just seeing that motion is verifying that things are fairly free and clear. Um, what, what, is, what is happening when you open this? Brian? I mean, that that's just the drain straight on down and out. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Right. Um, All right. That's not the proper way to blow it down, but that gives you a good idea that it's in decent condition. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's yeah. going to go yeah. for striking the match here and uh -huh. doing the character? Okay. Well, Glenn works in the fire department. So yeah. yeah, let's yeah. let the yeah. chief do it. Yeah. My big thing is putting them out. <laughs> oh, okay, well, that's not good. There you what go. you, how are you going to do it? Dump the can in there? Yep. Yeah. 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 Give her a little room here. Yep, that's fine. Yep, get some, you know, kind of spread out and get some right by the door so you can get it lit. And the idea is not to burn the can, right? Burn the what? Leave the can in there. Oh, yeah. The, uh, um, something to remember is we've got pretty good wood now. Occasionally we end up with wood that's got big nails or spikes and stuff in it. You know, the rocking grates, right. it's not a good thing. It'll, it'll snag in there. Yeah, it'll get snagged in there, and if you have to shake your fire down during the day, you can, you know, stuff can get jammed and whatever. It is amazing there were any trees left in America after it. Yeah, I know. Well, there weren't around here. No, so, yeah, Maine was yeah, Central New York. It's amazing for the most wooded state mm -hmm. in the country. Yeah. 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 You know, we see pictures there at the, the town hall where there's, there's pictures of this uh, large. Okay, you're right. Yep. Dresden is the same way, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can. The, <laughs> and the, 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 blow, the blower is open, so. I built the fire shortly, I know. <laughs> I do it for my gas grill. I just Would you leave the, the, smoke, the bar, smoke chamber door open ever? The, the blower valve is open so that, you know, when we do get steam, it'll, you know. Which is, which is that? Which is the top oh. center. 
And that, that also, you know, drives, as water heats, it drives out the oxygen. So by leaving that open, you don't get any trapped oxygen in your boiler. So as you leave, if you leave it open as you're trying to build steam, even though, you know, there is no steam. Would you ever leave the smoke chamber door open to get a fire started for draft or something like that? Uh, that, that would that would be kind of that would, Yes. Okay. Yeah. No. Yep, you can. Yep, you can close that now. Close Le the Leave it. Leave it cracked for a few minutes. Um, you notice that the ash pan door. The ash pan door is open. You know, okay. you get all the air out. Lever is where. That's the Down there on the floor. The yep. Okay, that's the ash pan door. All right. That's yep. pulled up. The door is open. Up. Yep. Uh, that's okay. Yeah. You're going to make copies and send it to all of us? I, I could do that. I can send you know, the tape. Smoke coming off the other end already. Yep, that's a good sign. We have a, de we have a decent amount of draft. Ooh, look at that smoke coming out. Yep, once, you're, once you hear that crackling and you're sure it's going to make it, then you can close the door right up. Sometimes you'll close the door too quick. It, it wants that little bit of secondary air up top. You close the door too quick and you'll walk away and come back two minutes later and you'll have to get fire. Yeah. Before we touch the match, this thing, is there something else to Pick the water. You'll see it stop pouring water out the overflow. If you go too far, you'll start to see steam. That's too much steam. What this is doing is regulating the amount of steam to the injector nozzle. So if you get too, if you get steam coming out the nozzle or out the overflow, you've gone you too far. You've gone too far. You just cut it back. Okay. And if you've still got water, you obviously need more steam to get a to be efficient. Um, and you know it's left in the water. The water's coming down through here. And that goes to your boiler stop check and into your boiler. This here goes to the ash pan. If you want your water to go to the ash pan instead of into the boiler, you just shut this off and open that up. Okay. And you know it diverts the flow from going this way to. Going so the water down from the, the tank is that red handle thing right th that line right there. Yep. Right okay. Yeah. So when, once you've lifted your water, you just leave that until you've got the. Un until you're satisfied with in your sight glass. Yes, okay. where you want. Um, but general rule of thumb is to do little and often, you know. Yeah. So every every few minutes or whatever, give it you know give it a quick shot, and to shut it off, um, you can either shut this off, which shuts your steam off, or you can shut this ball valve off here. Okay. We tend to like to shut the ball valve off first. You want to shut them both off. Because, okay. But you tend to want to shut the ball valve off first. That allows all the steam and hot water in the injector to drain out the overflow. Okay. Instead of, if you shut that off first, you've got this, you've trapped steam and hot water there. Okay. And injectors don't work when they get hot. Okay. So injectors need to be kept very cool because they work on a, on a temperature differential. Okay.